Hello travelers, I'm in Sevilla and I'm gonna be heading to Jerez de la Frontera today, guys. It's part of Cadiz, I've never been there. I believe there's some old Roman ruins, it's gonna be interesting. But I wanna show you the station here, I've never been here. I normally go out of Plaza de Armas, that is the main station here. And there is a station here called San Sebastian. So that is the station I'm in and look at it, it's a very old station, you can see that. But I love these murals, check them out. Signed San Miguel Sanchez, 1941. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Love these old bus stations or train stations. In this case, it is a bus station. You can see that. And we have a relief map as well of Sevilla. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Look at that. That took a long time to make, guys. You can see the river there. On this side, too, there are some murals. Beautiful old station. You can see the white houses here from Andalusia, the white painted houses. Gorgeous, guys. So we got about an hour and 25 minutes bus ride from here. I actually like it because you got some fresh air here unlike the other station the Plaza de Armas and a lot of people complain about that station I was looking the other day and a lot of the comments were negative and I know the people hanging out there you have to be kind of careful when you're at the Plaza de Armas because there's a lot of dodgy people hanging out around there so I'll be catching my bus within 30 minutes and I'll see you in Jerez de la Frontera let's go okay so I just arrived in Jerez de la Frontera you still have to wear those Terrible mass on the buses guys are still mandatory though a lot of people have them down below their nose now So I don't know what the point is, but you still have to wear those. That's the bus station there. That's where I landed And there's also a train station. It is right next to next door and look at this look at the train station That is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Look at that guys How about that? What a train station. I think next time I'm gonna take the train the bus started to upset my stomach a little bit at the end but the train leaves from the Santa Justa I think it was a little bit more but not much I still think it was only like 13 or 14 euros for the train ticket probably a bit faster too look at that I have to go to my hostel now it's about a seven minute walk I did see this huge like statue of a torso or something like that of a man's body it looked like and it was just huge so i did see that coming in to the city so let's see what it has to offer there's actually a little cafe here gonna get checked into my hostel guys and maybe take a look around so we'll come with me and check out jerez de la frontera Okay guys, I made it to the hostel and very interesting, the woman that owns this hostel, she is actually from Chile. She's from Santiago, Chile, but she's been living in Spain for a long time. We're gonna talk with her one day. Her name is Vivian. And here we go guys, here's the hostel. It actually looks pretty nice. The rooms are quite nice too. I showed you a little bit of the room. So, and she already gave me a recommendation, guys. We were talking about Chile, and she already gave me a recommendation. We were talking about empanadas. I love those guys. And she said that there is a South American restaurant, guys, a Bolivian restaurant. They have empanadas very close to Chile. So I'm gonna have to check that out. It's right next to the hostel. Okay, so I'm now up on the rooftop. They have this really nice terrace here up on the rooftop. Take a look. Well, I love hostels that have this. A Little bit of breeze up here too. You can see the uh, Spanish flag there. Looks like even a bed here. Look at this, guys. You can rest right here while you're on vacation. I love it. Solar panels, I like that. Wow, she's being very energy efficient. Check that out, that is awesome. They should have more of this in Spain. Probably heats the water. Definitely maybe get some electricity to this hostel. We also have a laundry room. I'm gonna do my laundry in a minute, but great hostel so far. I'm very pleased with it. And look in the distance, I see something over there. Okay, this is the hostel from outside. This is the street we're on. Now it is time to go look for some lunch, guys. Why don't you come along with me? And she said there were some good cheap places here in Jerez, so I'm looking forward to that. And I did see two men on the street asking for money as I came here. And she said there are some people in this area that are like drug addicted that have issues, so. Look at this old building here. There we go, very old 
there was also another hotel here it is right here i think it was called joma or homa maybe in spanish and you have a lot of different flags there that almost sounds finnish sounds like a word mika would use joma something like that they have a lot of k's in the finnish words here's a chinese restaurant i don't know if i want that maybe something spanish something latino would be good we were talking about chilean food guys latino food you know i love it you've seen it in other videos of mine of course you don't get it all the time in spain so it's like a treat for me and she did mention that place at bolivian restaurant but she said it's only open in the mornings normally why not to be aquí in jerez but you have contigo i tengo canal de youtube okay why not no importa no importa okay so here's a man, he lives in Jerez de Frontera. He told to be to what is your name? Juan Felipe. Okay, so his name is Juan Felipe. He tu has vivido aquí toda la vida? Sí, sí. No, yo ya cinco años aquí. Yo soy colo colombiano. Ah, tu eres de Colombia. Okay, de Colombia. so he's from Colombia. Okay, KPN today, Jerez de la oh, Frontera. Me encanta. ¿Te gusta? Sí, muy bonito. Tiene lugares de, para recordar de okay. la historia, las okay. iglesias, ¿sabes? Me, me encanta. Okay, yeah. guys. So he okay, loves it. He likes the uh, he likes the church, the iglesia, the church, and everything about it. So okay. 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 So he loves it. And he yeah. says it's a beautiful place to visit. Okay. Yeah, pues muchas gracias. Un rincón latino. Ah, ese es el bar. Okay. El barcito es un rincón latino. Okay, guys. So they've got our. Oh, this is Latino. Comida la Latino. Mi amiga también. Ah, okay. Hola. Colombiana también. Este, ah, tiene comida Latina aquí. Sí. Ah, a mí me gusta. Okay, buena. Ah, para que Voy puede. a probar. Voy a probar. Sí, agarre, agarre. So they have some Latino food here, guys. I was looking for that. Perfect. Okay. Empanada también, ¿o no? Empanada. Ah, a mí me gusta. Oh. ¿Qué es papi pollo? Papi pollo. Ese es buenísimo. Con patatas, con pollo, con presas de pollo. Ah, con okay. salsa. I like the name, guys. Papi pollo means like papa pollo or papa chicken. I have to check this out, guys. So I'm going to have an empanada here. She has empanadas. I'm having a beer here with my friend. Pues salud. Salud. Salud, guys. Here in the nombre de este sitio? El Rincón de Mari. Rincón de Mari. Is Mari? No, ella no. Okay. So that's his girlfriend working at the bar, guys. All right. So cheers. Oh, it's good, guys. Nice and icy cold. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said because of a very hot day, you need this. Yes, and it is hot today. Perfect. Perfect. Tiene razón. I've been talking to this guy from Cali, Colombia. He's a very friendly guy, so we've got the empanada now. They're kind of tiny here. It comes with um, tomato paste, tomato sauce. Look at that. It's almost what you get with the ceviche. Some little onion in there. So I guess this goes on top. Look at that. That is pretty. They're only $1.50 each, guys. So they're pretty cheap. I might have to get another one. I just thought since they were so friendly, I'll come in here and have something. Why not? Let me have one of these, guys. Oh, it is quite hot. So I might have to wait for it to cool down a bit. Well, guys, I love it. They're playing all the uh, South American music I used to listen to. <laughs> How about that? Okay, let's see if we can bite into it, guys. I think it's pretty hot, though. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, it might be little, guys, but it's packed with flavor. Oh my gosh. It's got a lot of chicken in it. Some nice spice. Wow. Pleasantly surprised by this, and I like how you got the tomato going on top. I really like it. With the onion, that is great. Wow. I think it's the first time I've had Colombian empanadas, guys. They're really good. I think they might even be better than the Argentinian ones. They are fantastic. I was talking to this man. And he told me that there's a lot of, I asked him if there's a lot of Latinos in this area, and he said, yeah, there are. So, very interesting about that. I'm gonna see if we can find some more, too. Okay, guys, great little place. I enjoyed it. And she told me that the owner is from Ecuador, so he's not Colombian, but they have Colombian food, Ecuadorian food, I guess. But those empanadas were fantastic, guys. I had two, and I'm already full with a beer, and it was only $4.50. How are you gonna beat that? Pues muchas gracias. Adios. And they have ceviche, guys, on the weekend. You know I love ceviche, so I might be back. Look, at they have ceviche for eight euros. But 150 for those empanadas? How can you go wrong with that, guys? 150, wow. And they look small, but they were packed full of goodness. This looks like a pretty good neighborhood. 
I was about a 10 minute walk from the bus station. So definitely seems like a cool city, guys. We're gonna see much more, so stay tuned for that. These beautiful white buildings. This is Santa Rafaela Maria. So is this a church? Doesn't look like a church. Maybe it is a, another convent. Could be, guys. Almost like Malaga, you have all the white painted houses, of course, because of the heat. There's a lot of heat down here. We are very close to the center of Cadiz. A few buildings that are dilapidated, a few that look good. So according to the map, this is a church behind me. This is a known wine region, so that'll be interesting. Maybe we'll visit a winery here. I don't know how far out of the city they are. And there's actually that Sandaman. There is a Sandaman winery here. And when I was in Porto, that was very famous for the port wine, Sandaman. So I guess they do different types of wine as well. I didn't know that there was a Sandaman in Spain, but there is, guys. Well, there was an old man on that corner behind me asking for 10 cents. Wow. Times must be tough for some people. That is definitely you are in a struggle or an addict at that point. So here is another church here. This is a very cool looking church here. This is the Parroquia de San Juan Bautista de los Descalzos y las Angustias. Wow. That is a mouthful there. Quite the name, but it does look like an old church. Walk around the other side and see what it looks like. There's a sign here, it says, Bodegas Dios Baco Despacho de Vino. So that means that there's a wine cellar here and it's the wine cellar of God. And you can pick up your wine here from 9.30 to three o'clock. Look at that. So they must have a wine cellar in the in the church, guys, and they're either selling the wine or they're giving it away. I don't know. I would assume that they're selling it. So that is quite interesting. Wow. I wonder what that tastes like. Here we go here. Bodegas, Dios Baco, Sherry, and Brandy. Wow. Actually, that that is right, guys. I actually had the Sherry and the Brandy. You might remember that from another video when I was in Cadiz. And I forgot, it does come from here, from Jerez de la Frontera, guys. So, wow, we're gonna be able to try some, actually some nice brandy and sherry. Look at that, guys. It's not only a church, but it is a wine cellar, I guess. So, I guess it is blessed by our Lord. Can't get any more healthy than that. Bodegas Dios Baco, here it is, guys. Look at that. You can also visit. Okay, so it's in English actually. The Bodegas of Dios Baco. The origins of the bodega reach back as far as 1765 and it maintains all of the traditional elements of bodega construction, which is a, like a wine cellar. Three buildings to make up the bodega itself. A most prized treasure being an architectural plan called the Cross or Bacchus Comer, presided over by an iron cross indicating the religious ceremonies took place there. Wow, interesting guys. How about that? family owned since 1848 and this is the sherry wine and brandy of Jerez urban route so I guess they actually have like a tour route and you can visit all of these wineries and that is awesome guys I love that and what is this building here so I'm seeing a few buildings that are derelict that have not been cared for here is one of them and we're seeing some nice things too. And that is what you get in some parts of Andalusia, guys. Put it this way, they don't have money to take care of all of these things here, unfortunately. But you think that this region would be making money because of the wineries. Okay guys, so I actually went back to the hostel. I got a wardrobe change, I took a shower, and I'm actually starting back from where I was. I walked by this church again, and the gate was open, guys, before it was closed. So maybe we can go in just take a look guys you know we have to be kind of quiet but let's just go in and take a look maybe they're having a mass I don't know but we can just take a look and see what it's like in here
They're gonna have mass. I didn't see the priest here yet, but I gave you a little look inside. So not the most ornate church, but you do have that nice like dome shape above it. I like that and it was quite colorful. So let's let them to have a peaceful service in there. And let's continue our little first look here at Jerez. Okay, so here's a bar called Bar Sherry. Maybe it's named after the Sherry. Maybe that's what it is. I'm not sure. That would make sense because you have the Sherry's here from Jerez. And I have not seen another bar in Spain called Bar Sherry. So maybe we can try the Sherry's there, guys. That might be something fun to do. I'd like to try them as well at one of the bodegas as they call it or uh wineries i guess okay so that's the giant torso i saw there and let's see if we can cross here and get a better look this uh street is kind of weird to cross guys you can kind of see it's not too easy to cross here we've got this uh, dome here it almost looks like a plaza de toros but i did notice there were two buildings here with that dome shape guy waving there with the truck hey <laughs> love that guys that's what i love about having the camera it's so funny crossing the street now this is actually the way i came the bus station's back down here that is that torso there that's the giant torso right there guys take a look so i don't know exactly what that is it is an unclothed half a man i guess and that might look familiar that was earlier today that was the train station there i went by there so now i gotta find out where you get to the cool part of town i asked the man over there and he told me that i'm actually going the wrong way guys i should have been going the other direction and i was actually on the right street the whole time but going the wrong way and that is taking to the like centro historico or the casco antiquo uh historic center of town let's put it that way guys Guys, I walked by this building earlier and I thought I smelled some kind of wine. And look, look inside, look what they're doing. Those are barrels. I did smell wine, look at that. They're aging the wine in here. That is wild. How about that, guys? I could smell it through the windows. I was walking by and I'm like, I'm smelling wine. Am I going crazy or what? <laughs> Just this white building here. You can see they have a ton of wine they are making in there, guys. And it did smell like the sherry wine. Oh wow, maybe it's gonna be super cheap here, guys. I can get drunk on a sherry wine. Okay, I've been walking for seven or eight minutes now, maybe last six, and I've already found something. So this says Correos, which means post office. And here we go, Teatro Via Marta. So Teatro Via Marta, look at that guys, that looks pretty cool. This almost has a gothic style of that, look at that, it almost looks a little bit, a section here, a little bit like the cathedral in Sevilla guys, a little bit. Not exactly, but that wing did anyway. I guess we're in the center of town now. Oh, and I also was told by the Owner of that hostel that this uh, city is very famous for wine, obviously the sherry wine, and also famous for the horses, the Andalus horses. There's some kind of school here for horses. So you know I wanna check that out, guys. I love horses. Here is a cool looking restaurant. Looks like you can go up here. I like the different colors already. Look at the green shutters, I like that. The red color. Let's walk around here, guys. Save that for another day. I just wanna get a look and I feel right now it seems like a pretty chill place it's not that busy it's not as busy it's not as busy as Sevilla it is a Thursday and Sevilla at this hour on a Thursday would be a lot of people out this is a nice looking grocery store looks like they have just about everything so yeah I think it's a pretty good place it does not seem too expensive from what I've seen so far this looks pretty nice here I like this nice street here so definitely a nice little city guys and I think there's some ruins here somewhere we're gonna probably visit those I know there is an Alcazar like they have in Sevilla 
and I believe there are some ruins there from some old walls as well maybe Roman walls so yeah good first look at the city uh, this is actually a flamenco bar look at this guys I like that how about that some people in there too so I got a feeling this would be a good place to see flamenco because it's probably not as expensive as Sevilla I would think a bar like that you're not gonna pay more than 10 or 15 euros and sometimes it might even be free with the with dinner there I don't know just guessing what is this here it looks like a big hotel maybe so wow definitely a lot more to explore here guys I'm gonna be here for at least a week so gonna have at least four or five videos probably coming out some sweets in there look at that that is nice now this definitely looks like the center of town now I think we've definitely made it here Looks like there's some people up there too guys wow look at that you can go all the way up there it looks like awesome what a cool building i love the lighting it looks great inside it's also a restaurant looks like but definitely a cool city guys my first impressions are it is kind of interesting kind of nice we've got some rundown areas we got some real nice areas like this and i see looks like more people here more life maybe some more tourists here so definitely going to be fun to explore this city and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Travel Addict Guy, live from Jerez de la Frontera. Yeah. Take care, everyone. <laughs>